So now in the last video we looked at limiting current from a voltage source with a resistor. Now we're going to add another element, an LED, the uh, meter. If you use a meter to measure the current, you put the red probe towards the positive side, black probe toward the negative. If you put them backwards, you'll just get a negative number. It'll be the same number. But in uh, any case for these digital meters, the uh, resistor sets current based on the voltage across it. So if you have an LED that's forward bias, so that's the longer lead right there going towards positive, shorter lead, the cathode going towards negative, longer lead is anode. That's called forward bias. That's the direction it conducts uh, relatively easily for uh, any diode. And uh, the LED diode though takes a little more voltage to get to conduct well forward bias. And it can't block as much well reverse bias. I didn't go uh, too far above I think 9 volts before I destroyed them. Well they were reverse bias. So forward bias is just going to build up about 2 volts and then let current flow pretty freely. After that point the resistor limits the uh, current. So, I did not show when I just had a resistor limiting the current of 9 volts because we got 9 volts divided by 470 ohms right there, about a little less than 20 uh, milliamps right there, approximately 19 milliamps. So that's fine for uh, limiting current through an LED or something, but with 9 volts, that is about uh, 0.175 watts. You take the current times the voltage across the uh, resistor and uh, you get that watch. So we want to keep that below 0.125 for most resistors. And uh, most of them are quarter watt resistors, 0.25, but you still want to keep it about halfway below that, 0.125. So I didn't use that for the demonstration, but now we got an LED, forward bias LED in series with it. And uh, if it's red, it's going to be about two volts. That takes off about two volts from the resistor. So the LED doesn't limit current, the resistor does, but it has two volts less. So there's still going to be a little less current. So divide by 470 ohm. Uh, I forgot to put an A there, but we got uh, 0 0.0149 amps. I rounded off a little bit right there. Same as 14.9 milliamps. Usually you talk about current at these low levels as milliamps, but when you're doing the formulas, you want to do the formulas in amps. Now, when it comes to the heat generation of the resistor, we looked at it without the LED in series, but now that the LED took off a couple volts right there, we got about uh, 15 milliamps, again I rounded off a little bit, times 7, we're going to have about 0 0.105 watts. So that's a fair amount below the 0 0.125 watts that we wanted to stay below. So now, this is a pictorial that may help a lot of people. This indicates a uh, multimeter or ammeter, but in any case you set it to measure current right there. The current flows through the meter and it tries not to disturb the current at all, just take a reading of how much is flowing. So that should not affect it in any meaningful way. Now, you don't want to depend on pictorials. Most people are going to share information with schematics of some kind. So this is common for learning electronics. That's a battery symbol with the voltage written next to it. Sometimes you'll see a plus, sometimes you won't. The long bar is the plus side. And uh, we got the resistor schematic symbol. I used 1K instead of 1000 ohms and uh, different value resistor and uh, then we got a red LED with about two volts across it again. When it comes to the current sometimes you'll see the current written out and then have it circled or ovaled like this. That indicates that it's going into the meter and out of the meter and uh, that doesn't mean you have to have a meter there maybe they're just letting you know that's how much current will flow through the circuit. But in any case one kilo ohm, 1000 ohms makes the math really easy. You just have to figure out the voltage across the resistor. As we said before forward bias red LED is going to drop about 2 volts. So a bit lower at uh, low currents and a tiny bit higher at the high currents. But it's going to be around 2 volts for most currents. And in any case, so that leaves about 7 volts and the resistor will set the current at uh, that point right there. And so again, if it's a 1000 ohm resistor, each volt, so 7 volts, will be 1 milliamp of current. So 7 milliamps total right there. We did the math and uh, so 7 milliamps and you take that amount of current times the uh, voltage 7 volts and we got about uh, 0 0.049 watts about 50 milliwatts approximately so again well below the 0 0.125 watts if we used a blue or a green LED I'll point this out right now it's gonna drop a little bit more voltage closer to 3 volts and uh, so it's gonna be about 6 milliamps in uh, this circuit here but Green and blue LEDs and, and white too, that's also a 3 volt one. They're just naturally brighter than the red, the orange, and the yellow 
the warm color LEDs and so it's gonna be a lot brighter and so you may want to uh, protect a red LED from 470 there and uh, get that amount of current and then a, a blue or a green LED with a 1 kilo ohm so you get about 6 milliamps and it'll probably still be brighter than the red LED at that current so you gotta take that into account but in any case this is how you take that all into account you make sure you stay below 20 milliamps to protect the LED and make sure you stay below 0.125 watts to protect the resistor definitely stay below 0.25 watts hope you enjoyed the video make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting into the screen click like subscribe the bell all that donate patreon if you can I got links down in the description but just watch as many videos as you can helps out a ton thanks to everybody that does that I will see you in the next video